Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the cell function. So what the cell function does is it provides you information on the formatting, uh, contents, or location of a cell that you reference. And a cell function just takes two arguments. One is an info type argument and the other one is just a reference to the cell. There's 12 uh, options that you have to put into the info type argument and let's go through uh, a couple of them. So let's go through uh, what they are. Let me go ahead and type equal cell and then go ahead and just double click that. And I'm just going to go ahead and click the insert function so it will bring up the function arguments window. So it tells you here that we have our info types and to just get a description on the different info types, so go ahead and click on the help on this function. So basically, uh, there are these info types and you can get some data on them. When you go to the help, you'll get a description of the different inf info type uh, argument uh, values. Address will basically give you the reference. Uh, basically, if I uh, completed this formula or this function with the two arguments, it's going to give me the value of A3. Uh, there's other info types here, such as the column, uh, the number number, column number, uh, the color of the cell format, contents file name, and so you can just probably kind of uh, get the Excel help and kind of look for the different descriptions. But I'm going to go ahead and just uh, execute this function with the different descriptions so you can see uh, what output they have. So let me go ahead and cancel out of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and type uh, equals cell and for the info type, I'm not going to select one of these. I'm just going to reference this cell here. And it's going to reference that info type and put it into the argument uh, comma and then the reference which is going to be this hello world reference in cell A3. I'm going to uh, press the F4 key to lock that cell reference in, put a dollar sign in front of the A and 3. And so when I copy it down, uh, that stays the same. This C2 is going to become uh, C3 here, C4 here. So it will be a relative cell reference for that first argument. So let me close parentheses, press enter. And you notice that it outputs to A3, which is uh, the cell reference in the cell. So I'm going to go ahead and double click the fill handle to copy the formula or the function down. And you'll see that uh, it provides some information on the cell. So this provides the address, the column, the color, uh, contents of the cell, uh, the format. Uh, if you go into the help file, you see what it means. Uh, G is general, uh, parentheses, if there are prefix, uh, what kind of type is it. And we have our row, which row number it is, uh, the width, uh, it's 11. Let me go and right click and it'll show you that our column width is uh, 11. So it rounded it up, 10.86, so that's 11. So how can you use this function? Well, maybe you can actually use it as an if, if statement. So a way to uh, maybe use the cell function is, let's say, for example, we're going to use the, the type in the info type argument. I'll go ahead and type equal if the cell uh, if I'm using use a type, I use type. If that here equals L, which indicates that it's a con it's a text. Oops, lowercase L. If that's lowercase L, then I can say, oh, this is text. And if it's not text, we can. Whoops, let me go ahead and uh, say yes. Let me go ahead and just uh, complete that. So basically, if cell equals L, that's text. If it's not, if that's false, we we'll say uh, in parentheses, not text. So you can do some validation here with the cell command. Type in enter. So that's text. And if I put a number here, 143 or something like that, that is not text. So, or if it's blank, it'll say, well, it's not text because there's no text in there. So I put back hello, it will bring back uh, L and it would indicate that's text. So that's one way you can use a cell function is for a validation check if it is uh, text or not. So that's basically what the uh, cell function does. It just provides you back information about the cell formatting, the location, and the contents of the cell. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.